It's the Ben Francis Cup final on your home of champions, the National Stadium in Kingston. What a moment for these boys from the rural area. McGrath and Froome do battle in the Mecca of Jamaican football. And it's a final that they would have prepared for all season long. And the trophy is on hand, ready to be hoisted by a team of 11 players who will do battle over 90 minutes and perhaps the dreaded penalties. The teams, the substitutes making their way through the tunnel and there is just an aura about the tunnel as you see the teams marching out and the most Jamaican young boys, young girls too who play the sport of football would have dreamed of walking out of that tunnel and what a moment for Issa, what a moment for the schools involved the Costa Cup final, the Ben Francis Cup final inside the National Stadium it is a monumental occasion for rural air football and who better to join me in commentary than Dwight Jeremiah well happy to be here uh, Dean it's a pleasure and for these two school as institution you can talk about what they have done before from tech they have been here before and won the ben francis that is mcgraw has never reached these dizzying heights however for the two coaches and their players they are all here for the first time as such history will play no further part beyond its mention just now and this is by as a big occasion and i do hope it does not get the better of the two sets of coaches two sets of players and coaches today it's westmoreland against st catherine green against sky blue and we expect an open attacking player football dean and it's all on the line today and i really think these two are going to go for it i really hope they do and they have really nothing to keep them in a reserved mode it's all for nothing all or nothing rather and let's see who will get it all yeah i know from tech a young coach both these two coaches good friends of mine and they have different reasons as to what uh, they feel are going to be decisive today for McGrath. They think the organization of the team and if they can settle within the first five to ten minutes without being hurt, uh, then Jeremy Thomas feel that he has a really good chance of stopping this uh, from tech team. But for from they say they have nothing to lose. They're here and they just want to uh, release the handbrakes and play. And the play they shall. The stadium announcer and the entertainers all set in the atmosphere as we get ready for the march out of the two teams by the way if you're wondering i'm dean smith and of course you'd have heard from dwight jeremiah just now and we'll be guiding you over 90 minutes and uh, hopefully we'll see a great attacking display of football teams hungry for the win of course they have the talent both teams 25 goals scored by Stevon Spence 20 for Devon Davis they have the firepower that is necessary to deliver on a big day and we expect it to come to your screen to our viewing pleasure the officials getting ready standing by for their quick march and what a moment we anticipate. Hidden in the shadows. But soon they'll emerge to the light. The officials lead 22 players. Boyhood dreams being fulfilled. The chance to play on the national, in the national stadium. McGrath and Froome, not a familiar story, not a familiar tale but they will write their own story and etch their names in history. 22 players, different emotions, but one goal unites them all, hoisting the Ben Francis Trophy. It's a schoolboy football again. And what a moment we have on hand as they get ready for their titanic struggle. 
Froome in their traditional colors, green and white, McGraw in aqua blue and white. They can be differentiated easily by color, but what matters is the goals that they'll have to deliver on the day. Nadine, there's a lot to argue but that it is a rural era competition being played here at the National Stadium, but I tell you what, for those 22 boys on the field and the ones on the bench, they are quite happy that they are here in the mecca of football in Jamaica and are just, they just can't wait to get going on this National Stadium pitch. Absolutely. I, I still remember my first time inside the National Stadium, my first time even in the grandstand, and I, I felt accomplished just doing that. So imagine them. I tell you, as a country boy coming to the stadium, I, I, I came to Boys Champ and I was in the stadium, didn't go outside, and I didn't even know when it was night because the lights came on. I didn't even realize it was like that. That's how much it was with me coming in the stadium for the first time. And to play on this pitch, most of these boys are certainly waiting to go. It's a ball move from Issa, and they have adapted to the times, adapted to the call for change. And the only thing that is certain in life, apart from death, is change. And yeah, we definitely uh, salute all those players, even behind the scenes, who would have clamored for the Ben Francis Cup final, the Costa Cup final to be played inside the National Stadium. However, I just want to go a bit further and say, you know, one of the things that um, persons Don't should be minor. talking about now is not the fact First. that it's been played here, but oh. the... Uh, premier footballing facility in Western Jamaica, Catherine Hall, is being uh, it's been allowed to be in the state David. that it is now, not being able to accommodate a fixture two, like this as well. Yeah. Number three, Jamil so that is a, certainly Number a call five, for Jamal action, Grant. a call for change, six, as we Reed. collectively desire Seven, three, the betterment of the Jamaican Eight, football Jamal product. Brown, 11, as the Spence, talent is definitely three, here. Lemhart, 20. And I don't think it's beyond Jamaica to have the reality of all parishes having a stadium or stadia that can host fixtures like this. Yeah, they can start with regions as well and get it there and then move to uh, the parishes. But yeah, you're, you're right, Dean. That is where football needs to go. And the surfaces on which some of these boys play or football in general play in Jamaica, even at the highest level of Premier League, is really uh, and not becoming of, of really having good technical players. But we hope that it will come in time as we look at the referees here. Alexi Perry, Kemar Gale, one of the assistants, and Keneal Wright, Andrew Hayden, the fourth official. And we all wish them a great game. Yeah, they've been involved in controversy coming out of the games last night. Well, more so the first one, which is the Walker Cup. And that is more than which we can afford in terms of time in this commentary. <laughs> Here's McGraw High, Joel Davis in goal, DJ Morris, David Hutchinson, Demroy Adir, Alric Taft, Dante Anderson, Devon Davis, Farrell Tucker, Shane Pusey, Isaac Mason, Jamari Fowler, and their technical director is Jermaine Thomas. Yeah, McGrath is normally a well-organized team, a very difficult to break down. That's what Froome will come up against today. Time now for the Froome technical starting lineup. Oral Davis in goal. They have a back four of Kishmar Clayton, Jamil Gale, Jamar Grant, and O'Brien Reed. Dwayne Watt, Kemroy Brown, Stevon Spencer, 25 gold man, Ural Lamard, Giovanni Williams, and Wayne Mullings. They finished the lineup, their head coach, Clayton Stevens. Yeah, young Stevens, a good friend of mine. We call him Froome School. That's his title, that's his alias, that's what he goes by. And he's he just believes that these boys are capable of doing it. And they have a lot of goals in them. And they he says they won't be phased by the occasion. Well, that is left to be seen. And if they're not, then we're in for a good game. It's a battle of the fives. The captains. Jamara Grant for Froome and Demroy Adair for McGraw. Well, spreading the joy is the referee Alex Perry. <laughs> well, and McGraw, they won the first battle, which is the toss of the coin. Uh, so they choose their side. And from technical, they will have the kickoff. A picture for posterity. Years. Later, they'll say, yes, this was me as a teenager playing inside the National Stadium. And for the referees, too, knowing that they have a referee in our finals as well. Uh, the best performance they can give 
is when at the end of the game persons will ask who was the referee that means that they did a really good job because yeah they weren't interfering too much beyond their call of duty they meet for their final discussions McGraw also join and they'll have a quick prayer as well assistant referees checking the goals ensuring that all is ready And the energy is definitely always inside the National Stadium for football. And it's no different, even though these two teams are especially through from far west and McGrath in rural St. Catherine. But Froome is definitely represented here in the stands, not a large gathering, but when they entered, the Vuvuzelas went off and the decibels went up a bit. So sometimes you can have a small gathering, but their vocals blessed with great lungs apparently can McGrath get their first ever schoolboy football title can Fru make it number three overall Froome has the kickoff and they go straight to goal through Dwayne what trying to ask a question of Joel Davis in goal for McGrath he was able to answer in the affirmative, I'm still here. I definitely hope that we do see their two talisman come to the fore, uh, Davis and Spence, because both of them have broken the 20-goal barrier. Here they come. Challenge that playing it out by Froome that's Jermaine Thomas the head coach of McGrath High yeah he's the man who's big on organization when McGrath made the run to the semi-final uh, that was what their team was about and he says that is what they're about again trying to come forward but thwarted on that attempt they get a throw in And you know all about Clayton Stevens, uh, Dwight. Yeah, young coach who has his philosophy, the way he wants to play. Says he has a, a, a luxury of, of talent as it, at his disposal. Started the preseason with about 40 players, uh, cut it to 30. Now he's down to 23. So really great numbers to work with. Those are numbers, as I said before in a previous commentary, I only dream of. Can they make it count? On this afternoon, they have a throw in. Good enough surface for them to work the ball around. You hope that these two teams look to play. That yeah. brand of football. Yeah, that's fitting for the stage and the occasion. Both teams are trying to settle down. Expecting so much more as uh, the game progresses. Good movement from Brian Reed. Send it further to the captain, Grant. That's cut out. Grant trying to go the other way now. Solid defensive work again from the captain thwarting any danger and actually getting the throw in as well oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just looking to engage from technical high up the pitch at least and high press here but once you get past that and I'm sure you're going to see that defensive shape. More often you see two banks of four, two eye up. Through making steady progress through the throw-ins. 
can they get to the area that they want to? It's been three in a row, perhaps four. Throw it. <laughs> Inching closer they are. Yeah. Headed up in the area. Shane Pusey trying to play that forward. Here's Froome. Spread it wide to Giovanni Williams. Gave it to Dwayne Watt who won the throw in. Shane Pusey there on hand to thwart any danger. From looking as if they have settled or on their way to settling the quicker of the two. Williams there trying to play that one early, but Joel Davis in goal for McGraw was alert. Spoke about them being a noisy bunch. Can't miss them. And certainly they're giving the team all the support they can from the stands. Yeah, a great chance there, but was played over the top. And Brian Reed didn't have the finish. It was really a good term by Stevon Spence to start that play. Yeah, Reed, one of the attacking midfield players, found himself uh, in a Good space in front of the near post needed to have opened the hip more. It's a difficult chance to take because you can't kick beyond that hip. And as such, it was a bit square when the ball came to him. And needed to be open somewhat to really get that. So he did well to even direct it goalwards. Williams on the ball. Gives it away rather cheaply. McGrath trying to build something. Challenge from Gail Deem a bit too strong for the liking of Perry, referee Perry. Jamari Fowler behind this kick. Glancing header, I'm not sure that was the intention, but all's well that ends well. Oral Davis was equal to the task. Booted forward. And like a barrel, he was moving forward, Stevon Spence. Yeah, he's, he's certainly a, a target player for, for Froome. Good player to have as a point man. And you can play, you can come short and hold it up, or link the play up, but you can go direct to him as well, Spence. That one was overcooked by Giovanni Williams. Keeper for McGuire's down. Referee Perry hasn't seen him. No, he has. But realizing that McGuire are playing more like a 4 4 2 from technical, normally having three centrally, and that's going to be something for McGuire to ensure they don't get outnumbered in the middle of the park. Now, whether their wide players will tuck in in the defensive shape or one of the strikers will drop off as a supporting striker adding to the midfield that's something they're going to have to work out to ensure Foom does not have the luxury of time and space in the middle of the park Jermaine Thomas giving his players a firm talking to just to get them on the same page ensuring that they are able to follow through on his instructions seems to be okay now joel davis uh, 
And it is a little secret that the goalkeepers are a special ploy used by the coaches <laughs> to get in an extra word. Yeah, most definitely. You have a signal that goes to him. <laughs> it's a timeout or whatever, and he sees that signal, he knows he's supposed to go down so you can get something adjusted. Because sometimes as the game is playing and you try to get your message across to the players, Dean, it just doesn't get going. And you, you send it by one person and maybe the Chinese telephone thing, it, it gets distorted by the time it gets where it's supposed to be at. So it's best you deliver it yourself, and that's a means by which coaches decide to, to try and get their message across a lot of times. Gale takes the throw quickly. Williams tried the flick on, but that didn't catch on. What can we see after we've seen the opening 10 minutes? Williams. Ball goes to Reed, who had the earlier chance. Reed trying to dance and a dazzle. Played out of touch for a throw in. Here's Gale for Froome. They've been having more of the possession. Here's Watt. Breed trying to fight, but was a judge to have fallen in his man there. Yeah, it was a, a strong challenge from Watt before that, but that's what that's what I was talking about in terms of. McGrath being able to match Froome in the centre of the park. It looked like a 5-4-1 a, a for Froome, but that allows their wing back to join in the middle and still having three central defenders. Not sure if that was an attempted shot, but it was picked up by the goalkeeper, Oral Davis. Seemed to have just caught the side of the boot there. But nonetheless, here's McGrath now, trying to push forward. Looks to be the man they call Messi. He's stripped of possession. Can Froome go the other way? They're thwarted by that. McGrath again in possession. And the captain has it got the memo that he needs to keep Devon Davis out of this game. And Froome definitely being the more physical of the two teams in the early exchanges. Yeah, winning those physical duels, Froome. Seem to be stronger players at the moment, showing that sign. Trying to build the play up through the third. Froome technical. One thing McGrath doing well, once they lose the ball out of the pitch, they're preventing that quick counter from Froome. Here's Froome. Passing not as crisp as I'm sure Clayton Stevens would want. Yeah, just being hurried by the McGrath players, especially from midfield to the attacking third. Right. Brian Reed definitely has shown signs that he'll be a menace, but here they come the other way. McGrath, and that was cut out early by Lemard for Froome. The yeah, interesting battle that we're going to see developing, I saw a demo idea was very close to Spence and he's 
sticking with him as well. So he's at the responsibility for Spence, and we saw him just now getting the better of him. Here's Pusey. Slips it across, but cut out well. Yeah, Davis's pass was a bit too straight and short as well in terms of the pace to it. Here's Spence now going the other way for Froome. Turns inside, gets the shot off, but it's charged down. Gets another bite of the cherry. And Williams on the other end was saying, didn't you see me? Yeah, but Spence, the man with 20 goals or more here, is definitely going to go for goal once he gets a sight at it. And given the freedom, I was just talking about him being hounded by Adair, got a little chance to run at the defence and saw a glimmer of light and decided to try and exploit it. But that's warning signs for McGrath that you cannot shut off. They say great players come alive when the ball is dead. Spence was well alive there. God, defenders will know they have to stay alert. Here's uh, Davis. Easily handled in the end. The pass from Davis to Anderson was cut out. Again, it's a deer over there. He just realized that he left Spence a little while ago and he got away. And giving these from technical a lot to cheer about. Not the highest of quality, but not a bad watch at all. A lot of good amount of activity, but certainly the intent is there. Great ball for Williams. Wasn't able to keep it in possession, in play rather. They're looking to flip the ball over the head of the opponent. Just he's stopped illegally. And McGrath, they do commit on the set plays because this is definitely a means by which they feel they can go ahead in this game. Lifted by Fowler in the area. A header from McGrath did get onto it, but it was only to a through player. They can come again. And this should be a very good opportunity for Davis. He really didn't fire. Actually, it wasn't Davis. It was Taff who came in the area. Yeah, I think the lack of communication there between Taff and I think Anderson. And Taff here was better placed to deal with it, but needed to give Anderson a call to say, you know, I want to be the person taking charge of this one. In the end, was put off by his own teammate. And that was a big chance for, for McGrath. Two players found themselves free in that box. And that's something with three central defenders who will have to sort out. Gale winning that one, trying to stab it forward for Spence. Spence, his first touch let him down. So for me, the biggest, the best chance of this encounter of falling to McGrath, that opportunity just now. Tough. And even when he was obscured by his teammates, still had time. That was the amount of space afforded by Froome. that one was deflected and could have been allowed to run out and the throwing would have been to McGrath 
both coaches in your technical area not pleased with the happenings I think and we could see Jeremy in there just asking his team to be a bit more compact come higher press higher they've gotten joy from that so no surprise that he's willing them on that way here's Davis trying to connect well with look to have been Anderson but that was cut out they try to come again and the outstretched feet of Kishmar Clayton the undoing but they come again now McGraw trying to poke it in the area the header really wasn't good at all yeah that was Gale Miss Q header and giving McGraw the opportunity to set play as I said it seems like they have focused here that the set plays are a means by which they can hurt from technical and Jermaine Thomas in his interview was talking about who'd settle first and even when I spoke to him before the game was saying that it seems they have settled Hughes with the delivery let us go up and he was trying a bicycle kick there but that didn't catch on but still McGraw with a shot way over the top yeah having the better place of our McGraw I think that was their number 10 Tucker yeah yeah Aaron with, Tucker with that shot from distance but going into it McGraw settled you feel much quicker than from technical and would want to make their advantage at this stage count we saw from technical in the in the uh, semi-finals against happy groove and in the first 10 or so minutes uh we're under a little bit of pressure but once they got the go-ahead goal uh, then uh, they really ran right and took over control of the game it's a little bit longer now that they're under the coach but and uh, fine time to tell you to download the sportsmax app get it on the google play or the app lap store and watch all the sporting offerings uh, from Sportsmax, of course, schoolboy football, Champions League, WTA tennis, cricket, lovely cricket, as they said when I was growing up, not <laughs> hearing that a lot now. That you're saying when you, when you were playing. <laughs> <laughs> it was too heartbroken to play. doing a bit better in the middle of the park now getting numbers up around the football because uh, they ran the risk of being outnumbered with from technical having the four midfielders and can allow them to tuck in because they'll win back push high and uh, with two in the middle of the park for McGrath if they don't play it well uh, with the wide players and the striker coming back to help then they could be outnumbered but they've seemed to work that out in this opening 22 minutes and at the moment from technical not getting a lot of joy to build through the thirds have to get them early yeah big occasion for the boys big occasion for the fans yeah and you get them in here early yeah you can get rid of the nerves the jitters that can come with being on the big stage here's what that one was cut out McGraw he was cut down yeah, showed some skill sets there just to get away from two players. No, you see it. No, you don't. Just dancing between the two defenders. Grant felt it was important to stop him while he was some distance from his goal. McGrath seemingly getting stuff to cheer about now. Here's the delivery in the area. Was a poor one. What trying to break for Froome. Firm challenge, but Williams still on hand to Spence now. First touch was poor, but he manages to get it to Reed, who will see Williams, who delivers. And it was well headed away, but they still have the opportunity. Froome. Reed unable to turn there. Reed gets it again, though. Mm. 
coming all the way back now. Froome. And it's with Gale at the moment. Can McGrath build something going this way? Anderson having to work extra hard. Trying to connect with Davis, but that was cut out. He recovers well. And McGrath, they have numbers going forward. But a solid challenge from the captain. It wasn't the captain, actually. It was... Clayton, here's a throw in. Impromptu attempt there from Taff. Taff again uh, earlier found himself in space and again finding himself in space at Taff. And a worrying sign for from Technical with those balls coming into the box, not really picking up the mark. And on that occasion, it wasn't a lot of players in there. Uh, Taff pretty much the lone guy in there and still he had. Uh, a pocket of space to try and execute something it was more his uh, doing uh, than him being pressured that caused him to really not make more of that one so that's a concern as i said before from technical need to sort that out what gets it to spence now spence in over real estate gets the shot off but joel davis was able to cover well at his near post yeah, Spence is a guy that doesn't need an invitation to shoot. <laughs> and uh, no wonder he has the amount of goals. 25 goals, yeah. yeah. And that was a good shot as well at the goalkeeper. I've seen goalkeepers from that position looking to cheat for the cross and having that one sneaking at the near post. I mean, I'd suffered that fate this season as well <laughs> in a game against Dintel. Um, so I know, so that was, was good goalkeeping. Uh, smart from Davis there. Uh, but really a good shot from Spence. Here's Froome. Paul played forward. McGround, the offensive, trying to shake his defender, but he gets a corner kick. Does a Shane Pusey. I wonder if he could have taken it before it gone out and just gone closer to goal and serve up a, a ball from closer. Settle for the corner. Maybe a routine here. Routinely cleared <laughs> by Froome as <laughs> well. the only thing routine about that but said our sequence of play. Yeah, I just felt when he got by the play and the deflection came, he still had the opportunity to take it and go forward. Like what I've seen from Reed for Froome so far. Neymar plays it forward. Here's Reed again. Watt trying to string it forward for Spence. Does so. Spence getting it across. Williams on the end of it. What can he do? Williams. Finds Mullings. His shot was low and hard, but it was blocked. And Froome definitely trying to build on their attacking powers. But McGrath, they have a chance with M Davis. Still coming forward and tap their last possession. And Gale will have the ability to clear. Doesn't really go very far and here McGrath we're trying to snap shot there and it goes out a play had a player down but he wasn't deliberately trying to play that one out so no getting back to ball from Froome technical when they restart the game with the throw in but yeah that was one of the better sequence of play from Froome technical and yeah it would have gotten the attention of Jermaine Thomas because that ball across the box from Spence and Spence showing so far that he has more pace than Adair who is the man given the responsibility 
to keep him quiet or to try to at least. <laughs> Conditions cooled a little bit or the sun disappeared somewhat, I should say. That's Spencer's mom. Yeah. Must be a proud moment for any parent. Certainly 25 goals. And a main player for full technical and a well talk about player in the schoolboy football realms. Davis bundled over and gets the call. Uh, Neymar was, was a bit too over, a bit overzealous there. Alexi Perry already out with the card. Quizzical look on his face. <laughs> they always have that. Maybe he felt the card should have gone to his his teammate number eight let's look there certainly yeah, should I, have. I think so i think cameron I, brown should have been the yeah. man book so, eight and 18. yeah but shouldn't be missing that one perry <laughs> taking one for i wouldn't say for the team on that occasion but taking one for cameron brown on that occasion coincidence that that has happened before your eyes yes i i i, I have that situation but and, and it's similar well in some cases to what i endured in the costa cup it was a situation where the red card was given to a player but the referee recorded another player's number so yeah in the end the result is the same that the wrong player is being given the card it did hurt me in the end because yeah, it was an accumulation of three, and I thought it was two. Tucker, the man standing behind this kick from a very central area. See him. It isn't Tucker, but look at the shot! It's saved by Oral Davis. The rebound. And they're still alive, McGraw. Was happy to take the corner there, but what a strike that was from the hand to the crop, the upright. Yeah, really good shot there. So 22 yards out, but yeah, good save in the end. Going away from him too, so that really was a good save. Tipping, out on, tipping it onto the crossbar. And the bounce kind and favorable to him, Davis. Here's the resulting corner kick. Headed away by Fru. What a strike that was from Hutchinson. But Fru now can go the other way. And all sorts of problems now. That wasn't dealt with well. Played in the air. What? Ask questions of the keeper. He was alert to the danger, gave up a corner. Yeah, he was retreating to his goal, so I wasn't quite sure where he was. I think that one was going wide from what? Uh, what a player that didn't play any at all in that uh, first round of the Costa Cup. But it certainly turned up the wattage here in this stage of the tournament. And looking to cause some problems for Maguire. Yeah, there you see the goalkeeper Davis retreating. And Joel Davis, that is. And having, he felt, had to make a save for that one. An opportunity for somewhat a bit, two players down. Joel Davis for McGrath and Spence for Foom Technical. Incidentally, these two goalkeepers, Joel and Oral or Davis. And uh, for sure, we're gonna have to uh, differentiate them with their first name, but that was a good save yeah. earlier. From, from Oral, Oral Davis. Davis was moving away from him had to get that fingertip to it without that then yeah for sure Spence seems to look as if he will be able to continue that shake of the head but some discomfort caused by the fall uh, Froome will want him to stay on the park because it is through him that the bulk of their hopes lie 
Doing the check, ensuring that he is ready as well. Yeah. They're loving the music, loving the vibe. Here's another look at what happened with Spence. Wasn't well cleared. He inadvertently fell there after colliding with DeJoy Morris. Yeah, so that's why we saw the concussion checks being done on Morris. But Davis still not back to fluency. Hobbling off the park, but for sure he'll come back on. I think you'll have to haul him off of it today for him not to continue in this final. <laughs> as long as he can walk, he'll want to be out there. And so So Morris seemed to have passed the concussion test and jogging back to the halfway line to make his re-entrance where he's going for a little drink before he comes back out while McGraw will have to deal with. This corner kick, yeah. Mullings gets it in the area. Still not fully cleared. Here's Williams. Easily handled by Joel Davis, showing his ball handling ability with his feet. Confident he is. I've seen keepers having that run underneath their their foot, so shows good confidence. But it wasn't coming with much pace in a way. The deflection took bulk of the pace off. Uh, both goalkeepers been called into action in quick succession. So one you could say end to end action. Yeah. As I said, not a bad watch. These coaches wanting to get the advantage. Another throwing taken by McGraw. Anderson trying to turn. Now what will go the other way? What? Too much current. <laughs> yeah. Needs to tone him down. <laughs> We've seen enough from these two teams to suggest that they certainly want to. The intention is to try and score from open play. The keeper Joel Davis has good footwork in terms of controlling, probably lacks the power in terms of getting the ball out to with the distance and the intended target. So often in modern football, it's the goalkeepers who play the ball out because they give you numbers up in that defensive third and the ability to play out on the high press. They win another throw, a uh, throw in through technical. One thing is for sure, both sets of players on the park are getting uh, the support from the stands not a large crowd at the moment but certainly they're making their presence known yeah they certainly are had his feet clipped there another player down he got a helmet to the mid revered or to his side. Alexi Perry won't be able to verify that one. And um, no official VAR to look at it to see if there was anything doing there for a red card. Um, well, not at this stage, I feel, or not for those instances. It appears that some evidence of VAR might have been at play last evening. 
that penalty shootout between St. Andrew Technical and Jamaica College. Yeah, really. I, I, I find it I find it amazing that the fourth <laughs> official could have seen a ball move yes. without the referee and the assistant at the penalty area not seeing that. That is amazing yeah. eyesight. Yeah, definitely. And to be given, uh, to be shown evidence, video evidence to make your call, yeah. Definitely not a part of it. So I felt, yeah, the foot official should not have gotten involved in that situation. And then in the end, even with that movement taking place, I think the wrong decision was made as well. Hard for stats to take, and Philip Williams, good friend of mine as well. I felt his pain last evening when I was watching. This McGraw want to inflict some pain here on phone. The reset, and they take it again. And all the way to Anderson. Being forced outside of the dangerous area, but still twisted and turning. Has two men there. And Williams now played out for Froome. Headed back to a McGraw player. And he gifted it to Gale. And they're just returning gifts, aren't they? It's really Christmas. And look at this play now for McGraw. In the area. Anderson was hindered on his run. Yeah, I couldn't keep that one in Anderson. But again, a lot of the joy for McGraw we've seen in this 40 minutes or so in this first half has come down their left side, which is from technical's right side. Really getting a lot of joy in that side of the park and the better chances have come from that side. Clayton giving a lot of work on that side for four. Trying to come forward for him. Neymar, or Lemhard rather. Should be a throwing for Froome, it is. Yeah, good anticipation from Pusey there. Was inside, but recognized that that's where the, the ball, the intended pass, and just cut it out. Touch was a bit heavy, but he was just arriving there, so just had to put a foot out. Stop Froome's progress. Mason stripped of possession there by Reed. All the way back to from keeper Oral Davis. And the ball on that occasion, but it's McGrath. Card will come out again from Alex Perry. Again, Devon Davis causing all sorts of problems for Froome. Captain Grant there, shown the yellow card. Yeah. A bit higher with that challenge, Grant, a bit over the top of the ball. Saying that he, it's his players in front of him that caused him to make that challenge. Roger Zimenez, one of the Left back for Kingston College, yeah. Well, still trying to catch the exploits of his older brother. Uh, some say he has the ability to get there, but not quite showing that delivery yet. Comes from a family of footballers. still being treated for McGrath about to get on his 
feet. Now he's up. Yeah. Doesn't have to leave the park because a yellow card was shown. But I see Perry pointing for him to go off. But he doesn't have to leave the park. Uh, probably again for Foom Technical, Kemroy Brown uh, was at it. I should have been given the yellow card the first time. The first yellow card that was shown was right in the mix there and could have been shown because he was late as well. He was the first one to have a nibble. So, yeah, it could have been on two, but he's still having a clean slate. Very interesting. Again, it was 8 and 18. The two individuals who made challenges on that play there. It's a free kick for McGraw. It went horribly wrong for them just now. Just on the stroke of half time, really. With yeah. two minutes left to play in. They are watching the action on the Sportsmax app. As much as they're in the stadium here, because they get the live replays and I guess they like listening to you, Dean. I was just about to say <laughs> they love the voice of Dwight Jeremiah. Download the Sportsmax app today, get it on the Google Play or the App Lab Store, and you'll be able to see all the action even when you're in the stadium. Here is McGraw. Williams. Belated call there from Perry. I don't know if he was waiting to see if an advantage would materialize, but it didn't look like it from the outset. Maybe gave it some extra thought. But yeah, coming to the end of the first half, it has pretty much slowed down a bit the intensity. Yeah. We saw it midway the half, pretty much in the 30, 35, 35 minute, looking like both these two teams felt at that moment they wanted to go and inflict a fatal blow that didn't materialize so maybe took a lot out of them maybe just want to hold it now to half time here's a delivery click on header didn't connect at all and lemard trying to clear gets it high in the air but it's still in possession for McGraw. they go all the way to the keeper joel davis under pressure from Spence, manages to play it out, but Froome can pounce from this play. Played out for a throw in. Yeah, they, they're living dangerously. You go to that side because you would have seen a pass. If not, you would have just booted that one out. So, yeah, that wasn't the best decision from him. Yeah, that's the end of the first half of the Ben Francis Cup final. Still nil all at the half. Room and uh, McGraw both going at it. Of course, there was a fantastic kick from McGraw through David Hutchinson that Oral Davis had to really get a palm on, and even then it came off the bar. That's how close they were to opening the account. McGraw, Stevon Spence had a few attempts on target as well, and it shows the quality, the end to end action in this one. Both teams have definitely turned up to play. So at the half, through nil, McGraw nil, Ben Francis Cup final. UEFA Champions League on Sportsmax 2, Tuesday, 12.45, 1.45 in the rest of the Caribbean, PSV versus Arsenal. To be followed by Inter versus Real Sociedad, 3 p.m., 4 in the Eastern Caribbean. And also on Tuesday, Union Berlin versus Real Madrid, 3 p.m., 4 in the rest of the Caribbean. That's on Sportsmax. More action on Wednesday. 
We have a Champions League and Sportsmax 2. RB Leipzig versus Young Boys, 12.45, 1.45 in the Eastern Caribbean. Dortmund versus PSG, 3 p.m., 4 in the Eastern Caribbean on Sportsmax 2. And also on Wednesday at 3 and 4, Royal Antwerp versus Barcelona, Champions League on Sportsmax. We're back from the break and we're ready for second half action in this Ben Francis Cup final. Oral Davis there. The student for Room Technical. Keeping sharp, keeping ready. Will we see a winner during a regulation time or will this go to the dreaded penalties at Dwight Jeremiah? But both teams have shown the intention that they really want to win it from here. Um, as it gets uh, further in the contest, closer to the end of regular time, uh, if it's still locked, then you'll, you'll definitely see which team would prefer uh, feeling that their conditioning and preparation for the penalty kicks um, gives them a whole lot of confidence. But for the moment, I expect them to come again to go at each other. McGraw would have been pleased with lots of what happened in that first half, for long stretches of it, that they were the aggressors uh, from technical it does sh did show too that they are a threat uh, when they get the ball up to Spence. Um, everything that happened for them that was threatening McGrath came with Spence involved. So they'll want to continue to do that. And McGrath will be mindful of Spence's presence. Uh, they did ask Adir a to really keep him quiet. But I think they'll take more than Adir. So McGrath get us going in the second half. They get a throw in early. Condition should get, it is cooler now and you hope and the sun may still yet reappear. But this would be good for them to go at. Ball play through. Too much on it in the end. And Pusey jumping over the advertiser's board. Yeah, it looked like he could do well in the steeplechase, come champs. <laughs> <laughs> It's more that type of jump than a natural sprint hurdler or hurdler in the more fancied races. Quite a few of the footballers do participate in track and field, and that's across the, the island. Yeah, they, they, they certainly do. Right now I have about four of my the Costa Cup players currently on the William Nip track team and more looking to join. Keeping them active. Of course, there are lots of distractions out there. They certainly are. And the avenue of sports certainly can keep many of them focused. Would it have feel but Handled easily in the end. And they have really been exchanging possession, these two teams. Here's Taft trying to play it forward. Davis, the intended target, but didn't fall to him. Spence coming a bit deeper. Getting that one, plays it out to Williams. Can he deliver? Gets the throw in. to leave it for Gale. Mullings and it was Reed was combining but it's still with Gale. He loses out now. Thread it through. It's a run for Tucker trying to thread it forward for Anderson. Anderson on the ball. Get it across. took a while to see the support come and listen and he waited and waited to try and play it through whether or not he could have tried to curl it to the far corner or the top corner didn't really look interested in that type of play always waiting for the support to come but a good 
counter-attacking play there from McGrath. Okay, they come again. Good turn that from was tough, but it's cut out in the end. Spence trying to chase here, but handled in the end by Adair. the captain. Yeah, was it Adair? I think Adair. Yeah, Demoy Adair. Captain taking the biggest responsibility you feel on the park. Happy to see that both teams haven't been sitting back, both given to attack. Yeah, so often in the big games, the finals, the trophies on the line. Yeah. Coach is getting a chance to win their first big title at schoolboy football level. Uh, just over cautious and wanting to ensure uh, the thought going into the game a lot of times is we don't want to lose rather than we're going to win this thing. Uh, try not to lose. So it's a different mindset you have when it's trying not to lose to let's try and win this one. Headed out by Froome. Spence on the pressure, couldn't control. Good turn that from what? Heads it in the path of Clayton, but equal to the task. Is McGrath it was the opposite number two there. On hand, Morris, but they come again. Davis threads it through for Anderson. Anderson! Dante Anderson! Opens the account. Magra. They've never been in a final before. But what a moment for them. And he goes all the way to the grandstand. Yeah, trying to break through the barriers. I couldn't do it on that occasion, but he certainly did in the game. Broken through the barrier off from technical and given Magra the lead in this encounter for a moment there when the ball went to the full back i was saying there wasn't in my head uh, one of the players need to break out anderson looked favored to do so here when the ball was picked up and then it came through here then that was a lovely ball to anderson and he looked gave the goalkeeper the eye as if to go to that far side open his body somewhat and slotted it at the near post and oral davis beaten and the barrier at four reed yeah, he is broken. He came alive there, Reed. Yeah. McGrath trying to go the other way, even though they plays down. Big test now for Foam Technical. Become McGrath, and Jermaine Thomas is the coach known for organization. That's what he's he's built on. That's what his mantra is. And when he made a deep run to the semi final of the Costa Cup, that was it. You know, sit behind the ball, was very organized. I remember him against Clarendon, was undone in the second half, but went to the first half in that semi-finals. Nilal came out, an error from the goalkeeper. The floodgates opened because now he had to go out and play, and they weren't so adept at doing that, and Clarendon tore them apart. In this encounter, well, he's having uh, the lead now, and plays right into his, his um, default strategy, which is to get organized and make it difficult for Foam Technical. Do they have the equipment to deal with it from? Yes, in Spence, they have a player who on his own can create and score. So, all the making for a, a good encounter. It really is. Having a chat with his uh, goal scorer there, Jermaine Thomas. Says he's feeling some pain, but... Father, he tap on the head there. <laughs> he's just telling him, look, whatever you're feeling, just keep playing. <laughs> it's you know that, all too well. It's nothing being a that coach. a can't deal with as a painkiller in that moment, yeah. <laughs> They're roughing up the crowd. That's on hand inside the National Stadium. And I tell you, whatever you see now as a crowd, it should be doubled. There are so many persons, even neutrals, who are waiting to see the trilogy being completed in the De Costa Cup final. You're right about that, Dean. I, I, I got up this morning earlier, I heard Jenny and Kimoni talking, and Kimoni talking about, I'll get back to that. McGraw there, unable to really get a good connection on it. It was a whistle on the play. Yeah. So I say they were talking about what time they got up. Well, none of them got up the time I got up. I got up at about five because I was traveling into uh, St. Catherine at uh, GC Foster for the Mills Classic. And with that, in that situation, it was pretty early to get up and try and make our way here. Here's McGraw again. Good turn that from Davis. Did really well. Still on the ball is Davis. Trying to barge through, but 
Croom now able to get the other way cut out by the defensive work of Morris there coming in the middle of the park for McGrath they're loving the action Showing a lot of confidence now, McGrath. Not that they weren't, la they were lacking in the first half, but there is a swagger when you've scored. Yeah, certainly. In, in a lot of times you hear them say, what a difference a goal makes. And yes, maybe used a lot, but certainly it is a fact that you find that teams are a different outfit once they've scored. Even if they're behind and get an equalizing goal, or two behind and get a goal, then that certainly gives them enough energy. Here's McGraw. Dispossessed. Well, still on his feet. Again, still McGraw. Anderson. And why wouldn't he after scoring? Yes, it was much closer, but I, I don't see a teammate saying, hey, why did you kick from here? Third goal of the season and probably the most important of the three if it takes them to the glory land and nobody will dispute that and they come again Davis didn't get it under his spell with immediacy uh, he's trying to get it from under his feet but they are just now where there's no doubt or not that trying to do that on the goal he assisted on the goal uh, had no trouble getting it out from under his feet lovely ball to anderson and uh, anderson obliged so play pause because of the goalkeeper for mcgraw being down joel davis and i think it's an attempt to get a player to change the boot i think they're number seven Anderson, the goal scorer, changing the footwear. So again, the goalkeeper. The goal the game cannot continue while the goalkeeper is on the turf needing attention. So the coaches will use that all the time. But here we see him. I wonder if there's anything that FIFA will do about that because it's been used <laughs> at the, the very highest level, of course. They are trying to get in more rules, especially the I tell you what, the sin bin. I go as far to say, you wonder if they'll do it. It's not far fetch to think, but I think it will come about only if certain teams in world football are at a disadvantage with it. I mean, you look at Martinez in the World Cup and his exploits getting Argentina to the title, and immediately after the laws were changed as to what goalkeepers can and can't do. So, yeah. It depends who's on the receiving end too often and the magnitude of it as well. Yeah. Here they come. Tucker was brought down. I tell you what, of course, the wall was uh, improperly set up when Hutchinson struck in the first half. But one thing is for sure, he can't strike. It's much further out. No, I think earlier when he struck it, it was a vote from 22 yards at their boat. No, much further out. It definitely look as if he's intending to go for it for sure. Packed a punch from 22. Maybe he had more in reserve and looking to unleash it here or release it here. What's in the tank? For David Hutchinson, steps up, fires wide. Yeah, I guess distance just a bit too much for him. Now he knows. I think he'll mark that shade of grass because the field has been cut in stripes, so he'll know in that range better I get somebody to serve it up closer than that then 
Maybe I'll have a go. McGrady started with pretty much having a back five, three central defenders. We'll wait to see if anything changed where that is concerned. She threw across the front. Here's Grant, the captain, goes all the way back to Oral Davis in goal. Get the return ball. Lots of giving, but finally the goal. Well, it's with McGrath now. They go the other way. Clayton trying to connect with Spence. Adir was there. Yeah, maybe what Coach Thomas may look to do is to ensure that Adir continues to do his work, but also have a covering defender just in the, the event that Spence does get away from him. Don't want that cover to be too far away. What we see Spence doing as we see a player down from McGrath again is that from will try now and have, if they don't ditch the system of five at the back, what they do is to push their two wing backs high and allow both of them to go at once. And that's what we saw when we saw three across the front. It was their right back and left back pushing high on the outside of Spence. So they would be given the license to go forward. But there will be some measure because it's not at that stage in the contest where you throw the kitchen sink and the plates and everything out. Just at the hour mark now. Yeah. So still time to measure your approach and not leave yourself to open at the back. Grant with the throw and takes it. McGrath trying to break with Tucker. He's brought down by Reed. Left all the worse is O'Brien Reed. Gets up now. Oh, we can see three across the front from McGrath. When the game started on a set piece, they had committed as much as six players up top. Not so at the moment. So ensuring they have numbers behind the ball for the second phase of the set play. Morris there trying to clear, but only giving it to Froome. They have numbers. Here's an opportunity for McGraw. Good cover there. Yeah, I think that's a good call from referee Perry. Just looking to see if the advantage had materialized. It didn't. That's a good nudge of a header there. Had he not gotten that nudge body check, as you say, yeah, good header. Yeah, that body check just slowed him down for the recovering defender to clear. But as I said for Froome, it's, it's not the time when you just go hell for leather and throw everybody forward it's also equally not the time for McGrath to just be hacking the ball out uh, you want to maintain or keep possession more uh, because that allows you to defend as well because the other team can't score from technical not waiting too long they're well they're on your remark which is brought about the time where changes are normally made number 10 Akeem Congal comes on Williams left the park and also coming on for Froome, Demar Williams on for Wayne Mullings. Here's McGrath. Kongal, a versatile player for Froome Technical, will see if there's any change in the system because Kongal, as a player, he's been ex he's been used as a centre forward, left wing, right winger, and when he came on in the semi-finals, he did bring some spark. That's what Froome Technical will be looking for him now, more of an explosion than a spark. Tough. 
Goodwin with there was Tucker. Hutchins with the throw in. Anderson was attempting to cross it, went out. Find time to tell you to download the Sportsmax app today. Get on the Google Play or the Apple App Store and ensure you are able to follow all the action in schoolboy football and so many other sporting offerings from Sportsmax, the home of champions. Download the Sportsmax app. Williams coming on for Froome as well. He's a boy that has been used at the left back position. Now they've looked to go on to a 5 3 2, keeping the five at the back just the same. Conga looking to play closer to Spence. Yeah, the whistle went and ball was still rolling so had to retake and also couldn't have the good colleague there Milton Hutchinson met him on my way in he's been rather clean fresh he said the security yeah. didn't even recognize him when we were coming in saying that yeah who are you when he said who he was he said boy looked a changed man <laughs> says he's out getting a lot of uh, tender loving care <laughs> says he's at home he's at home relaxing We're not really like you and i doing a, a lot of work at the moment <laughs> but that's what he told me <laughs> certainly here to enjoy the football normally behind the cameras well certainly in full focus there Change being made by McGraw as well. Next to the tap coming out. Yeah, number six was leaving that tap. Halrick tap. Color red on hand for the De Costa Cup final. One done. Blue and yellow. Will yeah. it be there easy? Hmm. I'm grappling a man down at the moment. Here's Kangal. Almost trying to get it in. Appeal for the handball, Kangal, but I think he came off his hand. <laughs> <laughs> they forget all of that when they're in front of goal. McGrath down to 10. And the player to come on wasn't properly attired. Running on before going over to be checked properly by the foot official. Willock, the player, looking to come in. Watkin from deliver. And just under 24 minutes in this encounter. Here's McGraw trying to go the other way. Good skill that from Davis, but well read. Yeah, just too big on that one. He did a neat little flick over that would fall into his path. That one was more favoring the defender. Confirmation of the change. Orlando Willock replaces Hallerick Taff. Booted up by Froome, looking for Spence, did get to him, Kangal plays it back to him, was trying to go wide but well read by the McGraw defence who now come forward, trying to connect with Davis, has pace you know, but there was a good coverage from Lemard to play it out for a throw in. Yeah, definitely good recovery from Lemard, had to get there and be precise with his challenge. And he was. It's 
Still time for McGrath to seal it and from technical to get back in it. Here they come. Well, almost. Trying to spring it forward now. Does fall for Kongal. Forced a bit wide because of the first touch. Can he get in the box? Ease off the ball. Still on it. And the referee saw nothing there. Joel Davis holding it like a teddy bear, I tell you. Yeah, I definitely had to help, hold on to it. He judged it well. DJ Morris didn't judge it well at all. And no apologizing to his teammates. That ball came over and he should have dealt with it. And Kongal got on to the end of it. Here's McGraw trying to build something from oh, him. that occasion was just instant rather. Get a throw in. In the 70th minute of this game. Hutchinson takes the throw. Here's Pusey now. Going to goal, but Oral Davis there. Equal to the task. Yeah, Pusey for a moment. They're looking to put his laces through it, but realize that he was being closed down, looking to guide it in the end, lacking the power. Here's Hutchinson once more. Does the step over. Can't go around. Good recovery. Delivery in the area by the substitute, but Williams, the substitute for Froome, was trying to clear, but charged down. Yeah, has Pence been coded out, but I'm not surprised now. I, I mentioned it before that McGraw will need to ensure that not only their skipper is around him in Adir, but make sure in making sure that cover is very much close by that time, just too close. And they had a recovering defender even deep as well. The teacher is in the classroom delivery from Froome close and it's a flick on header that's over the top had a header in the semi-final did Lemon that was on target or was it a header or did he just get to poke it in I think he only got to poke it in yeah I think it was a pong lit across the line at the time uh, the keeper mishandled it yeah and it fell to him and he reacted uh, just a toe poke but it all counts at this stage, he'll take that or anything that goes across that goal line of McGrath. And technical now will take it. Here's what for Froome. Another change being made by McGrath. The goal scorer will leave the field of play. Dante Anderson and Jim Mitchell. Looks to be like for like. He is a striker. So fresh legs now to worry from technical McGrath. Davis there with the block from technical getting an opportunity to load the box. McGrath just having one up top, one midway. Here's a corner kick for Froome. Gets it and at the back post to collect now. Is Lemar gets it in the area. Header on! Oh, beautifully saved! What a save! It wasn't from the keeper, but it might just make the save of the week. What a play from Isaac Mason. Well, that was magnificent from Mason. And where normally a goalkeeper hands would be, his feet were up there, acrobatic in the end. 
because Lemhard rescued this one, served up a delightful ball, and when it was met, it was goal bound. And yeah, Isaac Mason with an acrobatic save to deny Grant, the skipper from Foam Technical. And that's worth a goal. I was just talking about anything going across the goal line to count for Foam Technical. Well, that was worth a goal at the other end because it keeps McGrath in the lead. And you're right about that, Tudin. That's among the top saves. Absolutely. Across the area. You no know, header can really get it on target. McGrath trying to break. You know, the intensity has really picked up as the... And rightfully so from technical lead in the charge here. Vital for that header to be... Uh, that ball to be intercepted just now because the goalkeeper, Joel Davis, had slipped as he attempted to come for that cross and had there not been an intervention from a defender the goal would have been unguarded for McGrath Foom Technical looking to really up the ante here the McGrath fans trying to lift their teams as they, as they come on the seas what a save that was from Isaac Mason yeah big time save big big time save a grant was almost wheeling away in celebration only to see it acrobatically kept from going over the line and when he did it he was even ecstatic in his play Isaac Mason he just didn't know what to do with himself have a look here yeah this is the second phase of the set play Lemhard rescued served up a beautiful ball Grant got onto the end of it Isaac Mason realizing that his keeper was beaten all ends up with that header who was on hand to save Spence arguing that it might have gone over the line no chance there and McGrath rightfully still in the lead here if they go on to win it yes the goal is significant but they'll certainly remember that yeah. save That's all about determination. And, and as a coach, some things you, 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 you try your best to, to, to teach the players and to, to tr for them to get, but a lot of it is From intrinsic. Yeah. yeah, it is about the player and they have to carry something on the park. There's so many permutations, so many things that can happen as a coach, you just can't give it. The better coaches are the ones that get their players ready to deal with, to solve the issues on the park, to really have a mind of their own, to really be able to bring out those type of determined characters expressing themselves and that sheer will to win. Kongal has brought a lot of life to Froome Technical's attack. Yeah, I told you he would, he did in the semi-final, but as I did say, he'll need more than spark, more so an explosion. Here they come again, that ball was trying to go to him, Reed spreads it to Clayton. Gets it in the area, but was too close to the goalkeeper, Joel Davis. Yeah, juggled it, Davis. Spence was looking to pounds. Clayton trying to find Congal, but well read by Fowler. He tried to go the other way, does McGrath. Give it in away. Was Froome. Good recovery. Here's Williams, the substitute. Turns inside. Can't really turn away, but referee calls back the play. Yeah. He was fouled. Yeah, Froome seeming to get having the better play in the last five or so minutes for McGrath they're matching it not necessarily with quality but with fight grit determination that's all a part of the game and they're looking to try and give them that extra energy to keep fighting 12 minutes or so to go and it will seem an eternity for McGrath 
but will tick away so quickly for Foam Technical. I have to say they've dealt with Spence really well. Yeah. For the large portion of it, it had been a dare. And I wonder if it would have been perhaps a strategy to put him further out wide just to drag defenders and open up space for a Congal who will he's occupying that wider position at the moment yeah because and that's a good point because uh, you'd, it'd be interesting to see what McGraw would do through Adir because Adir at the moment for them a centre back and if Spencer were to go wide preferably off the right side because He's left footed, want to cut inside and shoot. Yeah. Conga is trying to turn, but. Or heavily left footed, he will strike with the right. Comes across, but headed out. Free kick to McGrath. And the substitute came all the way back to striker to help out. The crosses seem to be the way a boat team having a player down at the moment, just beneath or on this near side. Hutchinson. But the cross is in the box. Looking dangerous for Foom Technical. They will want to get more of that. No doubting that the red colours in the stands, who they're here to support. Later on, Glenn Muir will do battle with, or I should say, the series between Clarendon and Glenn Muir will resume after this one. It is currently one all in that series, but here's a look at the Sportsmax app moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app. It was a fantastic save, not by the keeper, but by Isaac Mason. The delivery from Lemard met by Grant and look at that for an acrobatic clearance it was de definitely goal bound and so easily that could have been played into the net as an own goal it wouldn't have been given as an own goal though but yeah what a moment for Isaac Mason the Sportsmax app moment brought to you by the Sportsmax app big moment Dean because a lot of times we talk about the technique look at the technique with a player striking a ball on goal and you spoke about that with uh, McGrath early in the encounter when they had that ferocious shot on target um, Hutchinson and the technique was quite good he could have gotten all that all wrong yeah. you know coming off the toe and not really curling that in step back to get it out of goal you, you give him credit with that clearance got that technique spot on to hook that one out of goal uh, that was heading goalwards that was goal bound now the substitution they're made for Froome Technical. Number nine, Kemar Beckford comes on. Fishburne Clayton leaving the field of play. Beckford known as a centre forward as well. Kangal now out wide, from technical with the two up front, Beckford. So from technical definitely going for it now. As well they should. Captain Grant was fouled. Here they come. To Reed. Trying to get it to Kangal. That pass was well read. McGill in recovery now for Froome. Trying to push it forward, but that was poorly done. And it McGrath having space to navigate. Look at him go. Skipping by challenges. Gets it in open real estate now. And the first time shot was charged down well. The substitute here, Jim Mitchell, with the first time attempt. And yeah, it was Davis weaving himself through uh, the room technical back line. Really good penetrative run here from Davis. He's the man who was at the heart of the goal scored by McGrath and a yellow card for time wasting it appears for their number 13 Jim Mitchell 
but yeah Davis uh, he had the assist on the Anderson goal and was looking to set it up and so often you see those run from players and then they get excited and kick away he made a lovely pass outside in the end the cross was blocked He's trying to get it across but that was cut out Oral Davis handles that one easily boots it forward now too big before Demar Williams a substitute well no eagerness to get the ball from the McGraw players that is Crap of the game is the more it suits McGrath. Should be able to hold it on. Grant was fouled by Mitchell. Here's Fru. What? Trying to release Congal. Firm challenge. It's from Hutchinson. Yeah. Doing his defensive work was caught out on a cross that came and didn't judge the header well and released Magra, um Kangal temporarily recovered uh, to thwart his advances. Plays it to Grandas Kangal, trying to get it across. Let us go up at the back post. Joel Davis. Yeah, I had to hold on to that one. It was difficult for Spence. He was falling away and uh, Spence pointing out to referee period that time is being wasted by the McGraw custodian Joel Davis but that has been their best uh, they look more dangerous for them in this second half when they are crossing the balls getting those crosses in because they have the target player in Spence and McGraw just don't look comfortable dealing with it they need to keep doing that. The problem is they don't have a lot of time to have those repetitions. And added to that, McGrath has the ball. That they do, they've booted forward. Did well to get the header off there. Has had his own impact, Jim Mitchell. Good header for Hutchinson again. You could see all that neck muscle going into that one. Conquer loses possession. Tucker Hutchinson is attempted cross charge down. Ryan Reed is down for Froome. Yeah, at the moment, McGrath. Some three minutes or so, plus the time to be added on by referee Perry, away from denying from technical their second hole on the Ben Francis Cup. Did win it in 2006. Agra for their first school board football title under the stewardship of Jermaine Thomas. I think he went to the job, the school, in 2016, 2016. And now looking to bring it on. He was a part of the coaching course, FIFA coaching course that certifies him as a, a level three. Kantaka, level C, I beg your pardon, coach, meaning he is able to teach that course. 
Mm -hmm. He's also a lecturer at Micro University. Coaches there as well. And he used to coach at Dumble Holden as well. Here's a substitute back foot, but his shot was charged down. Still hope. What? Didn't have the current there. Booted forward from a grab, but cut out well by Froome. They recognize it. It's now or never. That one was played out of touch. Yeah, the substitute came on there for Froome. I think it was Hutchinson again with the block. Here they come. Camera Brown. Lemard doing well. Showing great composure there. We have a number of players who had done well in this encounter, more so for McGrath. Spencer has been muzzled. Uh, Anderson, as it stands now, seemingly with the winner. There's still time for Frome, but if it were to stay this way, he would have had the winner. So certainly would have had a big say in this encounter. Davis, Devon Davis, who provided the assist and was always a threat to the Frome defense. Here's McGrath. Can they make this the insurance? Get it back in the area. Oh, didn't have the finish. Yeah, I think he arrived there and wasn't shaped to deal with it. Wasn't ready for it. You have to be ready inside there once you've made the run. End have to, to be action. ready. And I tell you what, it was really going end to end there. I mean, with five minutes or so to go. Yeah, even with a chance going here. Let's have a look here. Good move. And then the cutback, right play. Yeah, just came at him, probably with that left foot. Not his favor, just trying to redirect his body to play that. I think he was up on that ball too quickly. Couldn't sort himself out. But McGraw with that chance. Yes, the two players up there have to be ready for the counter. Have to have players in position, ready to be organized. It was just too easy for him to come around them. Here they come now. And he's pulled back. Yeah, Hutchinson with the yellow card. He was bamboozled with the nutmeg there, the salad, as we say in Jamaica here. And as I was saying, too easy for Foam Technical to get at them. That was just too easy, Hutchinson. It's like you open the gate and say, walk right in it. And now they have to deal with a ball being played in the box. And something that from Technical has done well in terms of worrying McGrath. And I think they're just a bit too open in this final stages, McGrath. What? With the delivery, straight to the keeper. Yeah, it's a poor one in the end. Didn't give his teammates a chance in the box. And Joel Davis will just take some vital seconds off the clock. McGrath, the fans, they're sensing it that they're almost over the line. And for me, as I said before, Grant has been, not Grant really, the skipper, rather. A deer. A deer. Has been excellent in this game. Really excellent to me for keeping uh, Spence quiet. This is a 25 goal man, and he has been there. Spence once or twice got away, didn't cost McGrath. And I think for me, he is a standout player. Here they come again. Could this be Davis's moment? Offside. Yeah, making the run in trouble. Yeah, but outside. But I, 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 I think, I think, uh, skipper there has done a captain fantastic job today. Adair on Spence. Spence has hardly had a sniff. When he has, it has been far. So yeah. that's my pick for man of the, a player of the game. Hutchinson trying to play it out, but 
<laughs> it has been an excellent performance. I, I saw him go from left to right, Spence, and Adir went across. Here's what from distance. Didn't handle it well the first time. Joel Davis. Yeah, I was quick to smother it in the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that was why it was it would be interested for me. Um, it, it appears that if Spence came off the field, Adir walked with him to the changing room and just detoured when he was to go into his locker room. <laughs> but for me, it would have been interested to see Spence coming out wide, what he would have done as the centre back. Yeah. Um, uh, from technical, never went with that trick, and as such, we just live to wonder what would have happened. Yeah. Yeah, but excellent work. I really think it would have caused him a lot of problem because as you and he's still with him upfield Spence comes across now but cleared yeah, anywhere will do now soon trying to keep it in touch but McGrath does it's Davis can he crown his moment does well Davis gets it across and Gale had to really stay on his feet to clear there. He's been a live wire. And I really believe that there's a conversation for Devon Davis. Yeah, it certainly is. And, 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 I can, and I can speak to it too because I played them in the round of 16. It ended nil all. But I had to have a plan for him because he was the one they were looking to go to. And we had to send him into areas where he didn't really like to go and always have the cover to deal with him. So I know the type of player he can be, um, Davis. Because, as I said in that round of 16, and we should have won it, but yeah, he and that was largely because um, he was kept quiet. So, Froome didn't manage to do that, and one pass, and McGraw was leading it. But despite that, he would have to go on and score now. And even with that, it's, it's not the winning goal. Spence trying to barge forward, was brought down. Yeah. has won a free kick in a dangerous area and you feel the last opportunity for from technical here the yellow card will come out or has come out looks to be Fowler yeah, the number 14 Jamari Fowler shown the yellow card I wouldn't be arguing now I'd just be trying to defend yeah organizing yourself let's have a look here there was sure. no touch. Not there was quite no sure. Touch. I didn't see that unless it was outside the frame. So, I, I, again, the wrong player being carded. And I don't think there was a free kick in this one. Yeah. I, I mean, McGraw would be aggrieved right. here if this one were to go in and send it to penalty because, yeah, on the evidence of that. Would love to see it another time. And I think Perry was the man in the middle uh, against Waterhouse against Mount Pleasant. I think when he made a call for a penalty and was bailed out by his assistant because there was no touch. Here's a kick. Way over the top. May have just been the final kick. It was McGraw. It's their moment. Ben Francis Cup champions for 2023. Jermaine Thomas is a man relieved. Punches the ear off camera. And it's the fourth first-time winners of this championship since the format has been revised in 2018. McGraw, they etch their name in the folklore of local schoolboy football in the rural area. Froome, they had their chances, but they couldn't convert. Perhaps most notably by the brilliance of Isaac Mason. McGraw joined Chardimont as a neighbors who have won this competition, the Ben Francis knockout. Joy! Joy for them, Dwight Jeremiah. Oh, joy. Uncontrollable joy here because I know what it means um, to win a title as well. Maybe at different levels, yeah, but it's it, especially your first then it, it matters. It really, really matters. And the project that he's been working on, I think, since 2016, coming to fruition here with a title. And, yeah, since the revision of the Ben Francis Cup and the way uh, it's contested, 
Uh, this is the third first timer to have won it. As you mentioned, Charlie Mount, Edwin Allen, and uh, McGrath, BB Cope. So the fourth to have won it. So really giving the opportunity for lesser uh, known teams or, or teams building their thing to come up and win a title. Here are the highlights. Froome started well. And they had this attempt through O'Brien Reed. He didn't bring it within the frame. McGraw also had their chances. Taff on that occasion was unable to connect well. And uh, it was really end to end stop. Stevon Spence, the 25 gold man, shot on sight. But that one was well read. Look at this strike. Playing off the hand onto the crossbar. Oral Davis with a big hand on that occasion. Hutchinson with the kick for McGraw. It was really a thrilling encounter. Here again, a dangerous miss kick. Saw the ball coming to Clayton, who played it to what? And goalkeeper Joel Davis there ensuring that the ball that was going wide certainly went wide. But McGraw would have a moment of joy. Poor clearance. Davis there poking it through. And Anderson with his third of the season on hand. The right place at the right time with the right finish. McGraw in the lead in the Ben Francis Cup knockout final. Dante Anderson beating Oral Davis at his near post. They were sent in delirium. Another shot there went wide. Hutchinson again. This delivery. The flick on header from Lemard was off target. Perhaps the greatest moment apart from the goal came through this passage of play. Lemard bringing it alive, getting it across. The header from the captain Grant. Isaac Mason with a spectacular save. A save of the week, and he isn't the keeper. Yeah, that's how good it was. McGrath had more moments and it really came through Davis again bringing it back to Jim Mitchell the substitute didn't have uh, the finish in the end Alexi Perry saw enough here are the statistics at the end of the match six on target from 12 attempts from McGrath five on target from 12 as well from Froome 20 fouls in this game the majority of them 14 going to Froome three yellow cards apiece one offside for McGraw, two, two corners apiece. Nine saves, five of them made by Oral Davis in the Froome goal. McGraw had the majority of the possession and the goal, 53% of the possession with the sole goal. And they are the winners. The waterman of the match is standing by. Kimani will tell us who it is. Yeah, thank you, Dean. I'm joined by man of the match, Demrai Adair of McGrath, he'll receive his Man of the Match award from Chantalee McDonald, the brand manager of Powerade. All right, Mr. Adair, let's have a quick chat. Thank you, Miss McDonald. You're a champion now. How good does this moment feel? Uh, it's a really good feeling, as I can say. Thank you, everybody, for coming and watching us. Um, I cannot explain the feeling right now. Yeah, and in terms of your role in the team today, were you given a man-marking assignment today for this game? Yes, he was the man for them. They cannot play without him, so my coach them me stay with him. And in terms of taking on that task as the skipper, did you feel like you had to lead your team in that way to take on an assignment Yes, like because from my coach believing me, I believe in myself so I can do it. All right, you can go and party. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that was the man of the match from McGrath there. I'm joined now by the Frome technical head coach. Coach, at the end of the day, you only lost 1-0. Fine margins. Speak to me about the game. First, I have to say congratulations to McGrath and my boys. I would say that they put up a good fight, but it's just not our days. Yeah. Yeah, and at the end of this one, can you look back on this season and say that it was successful given the deep cup run that you had? I would still would say it's a successful season and we can build on it. And I have to congratulate them again for the fight and coming in the final. But 
they said what's yours is definitely yours and this was ours but unfortunately we didn't get it all right thank you coach stevens oh, yeah that was coach clayton stevens of Froome. i'm joined now by the man of the moment coach jermaine thomas coach you're a champion you did it the first in the school's history how good does this feel i mean elated happy but let me let me take time out to say I mean, R.I.P. Gibbs Williams Gibbo would have been a catalyst in my life. He's the reason why I went to college in the first place. One of the one of them big mentors in my life. You know, so I really want to say R.I.P. to him. I wish he was here to, to witness this moment. You know, but we played well. We played well. We've been playing well all season. Uh, we lost two 0 to Christiana in the um, last game of the round of 16. And from then on, we have not lost a game. And I must commend the, the boys. I must commend the entire school community, the principal, VPs, everybody. All right, when's the party and where is it? I'm not sure. Going back to Linstead. All right, coach. Thank yeah, thanks you. much. All right. Yeah. Going back to Treadways in Linstead. And they are rejoicing what a moment for them has the dance as well does it here they have every reason to rejoice it's about time for the presentation ceremony in a short while yeah and all their dreams for this final will be fulfilled as they mount that Rostrum, that stage, and hoist the trophy. Had a lot of action, had a lot of intensity, and yeah, a lot of things we can talk about positively for schoolboy football, Dwight Jeremiah. Yeah, positively indeed. The fact that, yeah, the reformatting of this competition has given uh, teams like McGrath from technical the ability to get here and, and compete for a title. And uh, that's, that's certainly good because it spreads the experience and the opportunity for other boys to grow and, and to experience this type of a situation where you're in the mecca of football in Jamaica and you're celebrating lifting a title. Uh, that is something big and you can build on that to go for the bigger crown and McGrath certainly will do that and again like I say the project of Jermaine Thomas and McGrath come to fruition here with this Ben Francis Cup 2023 the game in itself was a decent watch and you saw good attacking play but you also see tactical astuteness from both coaches and Thomas with his plan marketing assistant power aid the champion of the Ben Francis Cup McGraw High. There is rejoicing as they get the the check and the sponsors on hand to share in the moment. Now the trophy presentation of the Ben the trophy. Francis Cup. Limber right. To be delivered the, the Costa Cup football by Lindvern Wright, along with chairman of the, the Costa Cup manager and committee Staples, for ISA, will make the presentation. Also, the principal of William Lim High School. Francis Cup to the champions, McGraw High. They hoist the trophy, McGraw High, Ben Francis Cup champions in the year 2023. First time winners are for them. A moment of rejoicing for the parish of St. Catherine, for Linstead proper. They take pictures, all smiles, all rejoicing, and the party will go all the way into the night through to Monday morning. General Assembly will be all the better for McGraw High. He runs away with it, Jim Mitchell. He is the vice man you can see. And who can say that they're not loving the trophy? Talk all you want about the Ben Francis Cup and the Walker Cup. When you hoist the trophy, you hoist the trophy. And they love it. Yeah, a trophy is a trophy. And uh, don't listen to what they say about which one. Yeah, some they will value more 
but silverware is silverware for footballers and the fact that you can go away for someone who is leaving the scene of schoolboy football and to be able to say I won a trophy um, it's going to be massive so congratulations to my grand players and well done to them and all the best that's how we wrap it up here from the National Stadium Ben Francis Cup final McGrath winners 1-0 over Froome Yo, Issa, high school boy football look this season. People am ready, you know. All right, then, pick up, man in cup. Only for your shield, you make me link up. See what the champions cup, Ben Francis, what a cup which team I win the championship this season. Yo, Issa, what about the hip school? I got finished the league and beat now. Which you that got collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people. Yo, Issa, me the fans are roll out all boat. Looking at the crowd, bus loan as support as some school and community too. People nothing at the stand, some are listening to prayer, they must have a bunch of fun TV too. Country and turn your night, be one reason. He's a schoolboy football, good come, look one, look all. Which team are the best of the best of the best of the fire TV coaches? He's a schoolboy football, a team could rise and a team could fall. But they never win. That competition I never have a nice up. People love see when boy I get nice up on the field. I'm going to score from far and them love with peaceful and the youths now. Yo, it's a school boy football, no local. The youths are moving to international big league. And I still people are but member which party start. It's a school boy football. Run, come, look one, look all. Which team are the best of 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 the Fall. A team could rise and a team could fall But they never will know until the whistle blows around